With little or no financial support, some business-oriented youth in the Upper West region are, able, are unable to pursue their business ideas. At an investment forum at WA in the region, one of the participants, a 27-year-old entrepreneur, Mr. Christopher Beyre, said his team needs about $200,000 for starters to turn their business into a large-scale enterprise. The idea behind the meeting is to help workable business plans to get off the drawing board. The Ghana Investment Promotion Center, GIPC, is mandated under Act 8x5 to promote and facilitate investment in all sectors of the economy. The center has embarked on an annual investment outreach nationwide to identify, promote, and encourage local investors to register with the center and undertake on the spot screening of companies for registration. At an investment forum at WA, the regional minister, al Haj Amidu Suleimani, stressed the need for businesses to form partnerships to access big capital. Let us encourage businesses to form partnerships and group businesses to enable them access capital from the banks for investment purposes. We need to build a needed legal framework to encourage the small-scale businesses to join forces to transform the private sector. A principal officer in charge of research, investment and business development at the GIPC, Dr. Richard J, said, in spite of the huge potential the region has for attracting foreign direct investment and joint ventures, very little has been achieved so far. There are planners from the MMDAs, there are budget officers. So why is it that we have not been receiving the needed proposals from Upper West Region. A 27-year-old entrepreneur, Mr. Christopher Beire, said lack of financial support is siphoning an initiative to start a business which could help address the country's environmental problem while creating some jobs. His plan is to turn plastic waste into petroleum products for commercial use. We use the plastic waste that can flow on water, maybe the vaulted container, pure water sachet, and we melt it into the crude oil level and it goes through various degrees of temperatures where we get the product, diesel, kerosene, petrol and so on.